200,000 for cream cream dear diary today i did a reaction video to a documentary produced by Beverly Naya a nigerian actress called skin i talked about this sensitive topic and gave my two cents and my own experience and i do hope you enjoy the video hi guys thank you for hi guys welcome back to Denise's diary my name is Duny and on this channel i talk about everything and anything if you are new and stopping by here for the first time welcome <laughs> um please don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell if you like this kind of content however if you are not new and this is not the first time you're stopping by but you're not subscribed please do subscribe <laughs> we really love to have you in this family i want to and i want to make sure that you are the first to know when i upload a video so it would be nice to have you subscribed without further ado i'm just going to jump right into the the video of today so today i'm going to be reacting to a documentary and produced by beverly naya and in so many ways i could relate to things that you know were being said in the documentary let me just be brutally honest i have had a go at watching it so and then i decided that this would be nice to react to so i'm reacting to skin uh, yeah, I mean, I blab a lot, guys. So, without further ado, let me just get right into it. And you get I like what they are saying here like the moon and other beauty and the stars the different beauty like different people like people are uniquely beautiful in their own way i like this the message drives home and then oh she's cutting like a bible verse this is nice It may have taken a couple years to get to the loving stage, but I'm in love with me and what I look like. Growing up, I didn't, I wasn't aware that there were challenges um, to being uh, maybe a different shade to the norm. I just, I grew up just thinking that I was part of a community, and my community was Nigeria, Lagos. Um, it wasn't until I got into the profession that I'm in currently that I was exposed, I guess, more to other people's opinions about my colour. But luckily, I was raised by, you know, um, a really strong black woman, a really strong white man, and um, a very strong black stepfather. So, and they never, ever focused on colour. You know, they always focused on the essence of who I was and my abilities, my talents as a person. So living in London my entire life, I went to drama school in LA. Living in London, I think dark skin wasn't a thing. It wasn't in, it wasn't fashionable. It wasn't sexy, it wasn't cute. It wasn't, it just wasn't. So moving to London, moving to LA, I don't know, Americans, they were just, they were on your girl. I was confused. It was, when guys she's so beautiful <laughs> i can't help but smile she's very beautiful and i know i think um europe correct me if i'm wrong i think europe had a harder time accepting blacks than america because you know there's so many black americans in um, america so the acceptance rate in europe i think it was slower than north america all these people are kind of I'd never had that kind of attention before and it was always based around oh i love your complexion i love your complexion i love your complexion so from that i kind of got an i just picked up an energy and it made me more confident and then i started to see if someone else even though this is, this is not how it should be but if they like it i should love it because i'm the one that's in it so i was about 18 i was living in la and i just i just fell in love with me oh. 
let's put this and say this I understand that you know skin this issue skin is the debate around you know bleaching your skin not bleaching your skin I understand it's a very sensitive topic and you know why wouldn't it, it be and I also understand that some people struggling with you know the color of their skin based on the experiences things that they've gone through things that people had had to say to them so many reasons right why people are struggling with accepting who they are like um, comparing themselves with um, different people I understand that also many black people dark-skinned people would prefer to be light-skinned and you know it has to do with social um, the environment the society families as well like I mean in this video you would get to see so many reasons why people prefer light skin to dark skin but I, I think I, I would just before we get there just like to say we should all appreciate our skin like the essence of having this blanket of covering over our body I mean <laughs> we should just be grateful to God that you know we have this and irrespective of the color white black green yellow brown whatever the main the most important thing is to have a healthy skin healthy skin skin and when people see you it glows i mean i don't know if you're dark skin take care of your skin if you're light skin take care of your skin we shouldn't be debating on uh we shouldn't be having preferences like it's bad enough that we're dealing with um racism and dealing with being black and white and then within the black community we're also having to deal with skin preferences preferences colorism like this thing <laughs> It eats me up and reason why I'm passionate about this and I'm talking passionately about this is because I have had my own experiences with Battling between okay. I have to be lighter or my body is a different tone My lower part of my body is a different tone from my upper part of my body. Why am I why am I why is my skin or evil in tone? I've even had someone tell me to go bleach <laughs> even get me the cream <laughs> you know and this is what someone that's supposed to be my significant other that understood my vulnerabilities that just basically took advantage of it you know so reason why i appreciate this video is because it just opens your eyes to first of all understanding why people do what they do and also helping see to some extent roots cause and probably seeing how we can help curtail all of this because i know it's deeper than we think you know people are just naturally people and some of most of us are headstrong and you know taking advices from people that we do not know i mean who the hell are you to tell me that i can't i can't be the way i am you get what i mean so things like this like really ugh, we just need to be appreciative of who we are and just try to have like a healthy healthy lifestyle healthy body healthy skin if you're black white green and also the self-confidence in yourself like i mean like believe like confidence like, there's something that confidence does to you aside from having a good skin you just radiate <laughs> Just read so be self confident in yourself do not let people tell you what to do what not to do to so think that i was even gonna i was even gonna continue bleaching because of a man like <laughs> because of a man i was going to change the color of my skin change color of my face you know get like that because he prefers light people i mean and and and, I, and families like there are a lot of things especially to african communities nigerian to be precise there are a lot of things that we need to teach the men in our community like ugh, words are to say goes way deeper than we expect like anyways before i just forget the whole purpose of why i we are doing this video and all of that like i would like for you to see my reaction and everything but i just feel like i should say that it's just great and small all things wise and wonderful the Lord God made them. Now a transformational coach. So I help other women. I only work with women. And people say, why? And I say, because I've never been a man. I was 19 when I started bleaching my skin. At the time, you know, I, growing up, I would have a lot of people, you know, aunties, random people who always say to me, oh, you're so black, oh, you're so black, you know. So it kind of felt like, okay, because I'm black. So the that's another thing like you are so black yeah, black is beautiful oh my gosh like we need to stop this pressure like she was 19 for even six prime over teenage years she's still trying to figure out 
what she wants in life this babe had probably not even finished uni and then you are still telling her about, she that's when she started bleaching and before then they've been telling her oh she's been black she's too black she's what is wrong with me like what is wrong with <laughs> what is wrong with this older generation what i've also had someone tell me that oh your lips are so big <laughs> God, this is a lady who, this is you have big lips Maybe I needed to be lighter to, you know, look more attractive and, you know, so at the time in school, it, you know, it was, the, it was something that was a trend, everyone was bleaching their skin or most people were bleaching their skin and I was like, okay, so it's probably not, it's not that bad, maybe I, I should try it as well. Well, at the time, it made me feel attractive, made me feel more beautiful, it made me feel more accepted. When I first started, it was a process where I would start with creams and scrubs and, you know, it makes a lot of crazy stuff. You know, you use a toner, you use a cleanser, cream, soap, scrubs. Then, as time went on, I saw that, okay, it wasn't really giving me the desired effect that I wanted. So I started doing, okay, sometimes I, I do creams and pills, oral tablets, glutathione tablets. And then at some point, I started doing a lot of face pills. At the point where I was bleaching my skin, I struggled so bad, like, with accepting who I was. I was never, like, I didn't understand myself. I, I did not find myself. I was just, I was just, I felt like I was just, I don't know, in somebody else's body. I like light skin because it's like making my color, it's making me, it's making me more prettier. But not really light. Babe, you're beautiful. Black too, so you can be like light brown. You're beautiful. So from there, I was selling down my cream to people, and I sell full package for two hundred thousand. So in a day, I can sell like four. Two hundred thousand. Hey, good. Please, I didn't want you. Everybody bleachy. Like if you feel like you want to bleach just think about and you do like if you have money you're not using and you think that bleaching is the next thing please just think of me message me immediately and tell me some my account number i will help you keep the money i'll probably help you invest the money you know i need money <laughs> Two hundred thousand for cream cream it depends on how like how i'm putting more effort in my promo on all my social media platform you get so people want to be like they want, they, are, they are like desperately to use cream because that's true when they see the natural fair light-skinned girl they see them as a threat to them you know like you'll see one nice girl on the light natural skin and you'll be like i can also rock this thing more than this light natural let me go and also bleach and have this color so we can see who and who match this just to, just to high level explain what he's saying people have most people have inferiority complex and they they, they compare themselves a lot to other other people and like, this is specifically for ladies like we compete between ourselves for what reason i don't know but it's just the way we most ladies are we see someone looking fine and you just feel like oh no one that person has not done anything to you but just because the person is looking beautiful or person looks you know very pretty you feel like oh you can outdo that and then you go above and beyond to what to what to what means like who are you trying to impress the lady that doesn't even know you it's been better so insecurities among things that make people Perfect. bleach yeah. to be very honest insecurity um not like you're, you're, you're I think mean, you're not really proud of yourself like you feel what she can do, I can do better. So she's light skinned, so all the old boys are toasting her. Oh, really? Oh, okay, I'll go and use something too. So let me get the attention. And I believe that I think light skinned girls get more attention. Majority. When well, you're light skinned, like you're like glowing, you're beautiful. It's just the society just encourages this kind of thing. Like, I mean, no shade to light skinned people but it makes you feel like oh that's the standard of beauty like if you are light skinned that's the standard of beauty you shouldn't be anything less why 
Have you seen dark, beautiful people? Have you seen Angela Bassett? Have you? Let's not even go too far. In this video, you saw Diana Yakini, you saw Beverly Naya. You beautiful, beautiful. You are seeing me. You see me right now. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Different ways of saying someone is beautiful, you know. But if I'm to classify my own self, I would say I'm beautiful in the sense that. If you go look my previous picture and you see Barbara skin now, you'll see old different reason for using bleaching cream. The most common reason is you don't love yourself. Wow. You don't appreciate sometimes i don't i don't i don't follow barbecue on instagram i don't i don't sometimes i just see some things that you know from other people's social media but what you just said now you don't love yourself i can't deny it made sense it made absolute sense so how you being exactly. made from god because you want to be known you want to be fashionista you want to do what people do you want to be like everywhere he gets drive the car before you take it home you ask questions before you take the car home so nobody can blame me or blame any brand for saying oh it might be misleading do your job before you spend your money so if i was to buy this product mm -hmm. it wouldn't change it would even out your skin tone and it will give you your own lighter shade so your lighter shade is right here or your legs. Because I'm sure right now if I saw your legs are probably not the same color as your face. Your face is what is exposed to the sun all the time. So people want to even out your skin tone. That's what this is for. So I have whitening written yeah. on this one. Yeah. And it's called Nourishing Whitening. You know, I beg to differ with this lady. Like, she's just doing marketing strategy. And I don't even blame her in a sense because, you know, she's in this business and she wants to make profits, right? And she claims that her product does not bleach. However, it tones out the body, you know, body screen. But you know, most products that have whitening written on it is definitely bleaching cream, right? But she is saying that before you get any products, it's, the onus is on whoever is procuring the product to do the research and all of that. Like, who, 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 who reads terms and conditions? <laughs> like, I get it. But at the same time, the question is, who reads terms and conditions? Most times, people just word of mouth oh i use this cream it's good okay i'm gonna get it i'm getting it like nobody sits down to do proper research except the person is really really passionate about knowing what's what's he or she is putting on their skin right so i think they can do better if she can be the first to break the ground you don't have to go with the crowd doesn't mean that your products would not sell probably we have like a slow momentum but saying that um, um the onus is on you to do the research yada 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 it just bull crap left to me like you can be the change everybody wants to see cream so it's an industry thing just like if you're using ingredients that actually brighten your skin brighten light and whiten whatever you want to call it or fade spots you are allowed to say whitening now the reason why and if I'm going to change anything, it will probably be this name, Nourishing Whitening Cream, because of the African clientele, because I have a daughter now and I don't want her to be reading whitening and feeling like you need to whiten your skin. However, I had to start this way for me. It was, it's partly marketing as well and partly you can't force somebody. It's like this natural hair movement. It starts slowly. They need to learn and understand first before you stop an addict from bleaching. So they will not try my products, which is good for them, if they do not see the name white. Makes a fair point. Guys, this is where I'm going to stop today. The video is so long, like an hour, over an hour long, and I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to say these things and kind of react to it, some aspects of the video, just to give my two cents. First of all, ladies, because most times ladies are the ones that feel the need to bleach your skin you know i think ladies we should be self-confident in ourselves do not let people tell you how you should look tell you what you should wear you know as long as you're comfortable with what you're wearing as long as you're comfortable with your beauty like please own it if you have a crooked teeth and you want to 
um, align the get breathe for you. Do it at your own time. Do not let the pressure of the society or the environment push you into doing things or peer pressure. Like we need to start taking a stance. Like is it enough? Enough of the timidity. Enough of all of this naivety and everything that is going on around. Like we need to start appreciating ourselves. Like imagine me, a homie, people that don't know me that I'm strong willed. Like I wouldn't most times I don't listen to what people say to be honest and that's like a major challenge. I've had people say I'm very stubborn. But me now having to fall for some because I was in a relationship with this person and I felt like, you know, I needed to look according to his standards, like have a fair skin, bleach my skin. Nobody even knew I was doing this. It was at, at, at the point I caught myself like why am I doing this this is not me and then I stopped using it entirely because I noticed uh, uh, what's all of this what's it if I want to remove blemishes or marks like they are mild products you can use like the ordinary not a sponsored post but you know what I mean I don't need to use a whitening cream to remove my melanin just because one guy prefers light ladies and I think I ended up telling him that if you want to be with a light lady you go be with a light lady you met me you met me this way I'm not going to change for you you know so we start taking our stance like I know it's a very sensitive topic and I believe that little by little we begin to break these barriers colorism um, racism everything like this world like difference is great it's like variety is just the spice of life we can't all look alike we can't all be the same <laughs> there is no fun in it so I think we should just learn to embrace ourselves for who we are and the world will be a better place so if you enjoyed this video if you enjoy this kind of content please do not forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to leave your comments below and let me know what um what you think about this old documentary have you watched it let me know in the comment section yes guys i'll see you in my next video bye guys